Once again, it's me again, bites in the ring, otherwise known as Brett, showing you some pieces of giant from the Bubiro area. These are just pieces. You'll find that these giants from the Bubiro area are actually very friable, depending on where you get them. The closer they are to the surface, the deadly weather they are. But as you can see here, this is one of those rare ones which are colorful. Don't ask me about colors. Like I said, I'm colorblind. On my Facebook or Google Plus or on Twitter, I expect you to volunteer some colors for me. Here's another piece. Not so clean. I'm very sloppy on that one. I don't know how to clean minerals. But as you can see, this diode was not, or the, 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 the minerals inside were not really colorless. And this is what treasure hunters are looking for. Again, the cut is colored. I don't know what this is. Could be a carbonate. Pieces of giants from the Bubiro area of Botswana. Like I said, they can be gemmy. They can be gem material. A bit small here, but like I said, they can be very big. It's just that the red colors are red when you get to the bigger stuff. Or when you find them, they'll be broken up into pieces. Another color here. A bit dirty, but otherwise you can see the color. It's a giant. Another one. These are the things I pick up when I'm out in the field, when I'm on leave once or twice a year. My feeling is that if you spend more time, you'll find bigger things. Perhaps more colorful as well. It's a pretty good one. 